radiation oncology, otolaryngology, and head and neck surgery from the University of Pittsburgh Medical Center and UPMC Hillman Cancer Center in Pennsylvania. That's in the United States. And I'm really happy to be here today with a number of my colleagues here in Cluj for what is the state-of-the-art uh, uh, radiation machine in not only Cluj, but in Romania. And this is called the TrueBeam STX. And this is a machine by Varian, which allows us to treat tumors anywhere in the body with pinpoint precision, a kinder, gentler kind of radiation, not the radiation of the past. And so I have my colleagues here who I'm going to have introduce themselves, talk a little bit about them, and we'll talk a little bit about this technology that the patients in Cluj and frankly in Romania have access to now that are similar to the technologies that we have in the United States. And in fact, technologies that some centers in the United States doesn't even have. So, uh, Dr. Mihai? So, I'm Marina Mihai. I'm a radiation oncologist trained in Romania, of course, uh, then in Canada, and I was lucky enough to work for the University of Pittsburgh, where I learned this technology. I currently work in uh, Ireland, but I am extremely proud to be helping uh, this team from my spouse extremely professional, extremely patient oriented. And I hope that the government allows us and the politicians will be able to offer many patients who deserve as much as treatment as well as in Ireland, other countries in Europe, US, will be able to offer them this high technology, highly curative treatment, uh, which they they should be they, they really should have access to. It is no reason where many patients shouldn't have um, the best care that it is available. Close to home. Close to home. At home. At home. At home. I agree. So, uh, Professor Seifel Houghton, the <clears throat> Director of Medical Physics, uh, University of Pittsburgh Medical Center, uh, Technical PMC Hillman Cancer Center, this in Pittsburgh, <coughs> excuse me, and Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. So, I'm a physicist, so I know a little bit about technology. <laughs> uh, so, uh, so in the United States, where you know in Pittsburgh area we have uh, 28, 29 cancer centers, and everywhere we have really the high end of technology. So what you're seeing here is the True Beam STX. This is really the high end, you know, variants, highest end technology that they provide now. They'll call it Edge. They'll call it True Beam STX. The gut is the same. You know, the the machines are uh, they all perform uh, very high high quality treatment. Okay. But one thing to really know, your equipment is as good as the professionals. So you can have the highest in technology, but if you do not have the right professionals, trained you person. Not, yeah, trained professionals, you will not be able to give the best quality of care to the patients. So you know, I've been, uh, you know, I've seen uh, uh, the uh, Dr. Carolina, Adria, uh, Carolina and uh, uh, Carolina, of course, and, uh, and okay. Adrian Rudria. So, you know, I've, I've known them for some time, and I've seen this center grow, and, and I've, I've seen what is in their heart. They really want to bring the best quality of care to the patients close to their home. And it's my understanding that patients are going abroad, paying from their own pocket, uh, to get the best care. I mean, you know, I, if I had cancer, I wouldn't want to be treated here, because I know the capabilities of the professionals, as well as the technology that, you know, is available. That's the dream. What you have here is really the dream of many uh, Western uh, 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 cancer centers. Sure. So uh, again, we wanted to uh, speak directly to the citizens of Cluj and other interested parties to say, you know, we recognize and we deal with this. I, uh, leading our uh, cancer program on the international scene, have gone to many, many countries and we recognize that in many countries there are waiting lists. There are, in Ireland, for instance, uh, we still have waiting lists. Um, and so, in fact, when we started our cancer center 11 years ago in, in Ireland, we had waiting lists for, say, head and neck cancers of six to eight weeks. So if you started with a stage one head and neck cancer, by the time you got to treatment on that waiting list, you had a stage three or stage four where it was far less likely that we were going to cure you. And so, I understand that there's a waiting list here, also in Romania and Cluj, 
we have a program here that can see you right away and that can treat you and cure you earlier. And so that's the important thing is to, for you to know that in fact you have state-of-the-art comprehensive cancer care, not in the country next door, not in the public system, but right here close to home and available with a team that is trained in state-of-the-art comprehensive cancer care. And so I'm just really proud of the work that the team here has sort of put together. Um, we're proud, in fact, this would be essentially like our programs in Western Pennsylvania. And so I would be personally happy. I don't, I'm not necessarily wanting to have cancer, but if I should have cancer, all of us know somebody that has cancer to be treated here at Metasprof with the latest technology, with a kind, caring, compassionate staff, what else can you ask for when you're facing a challenge such as cancer? So come on down, take a look. Uh, we'll probably get the website up so that you can see it. And as a professional, that as a professor of radiation oncology, knowing all the technology and the challenges and burden of cancer, it's great to know that Romania has the resource, has a place where you can access state-of-the-art state of comprehensive cancer care. I just wanted to add one other thing, you know, the, in terms of the capabilities of this <laughs> machine. It's my understanding that none of the other centers in Romania can provide some of the capabilities, yeah. uh, you know, yeah, have example, all the capabilities. Yeah. that this machine can provide. For example, treating patients with gated radiotherapy. What's gated radiotherapy? The gated Dr. radiotherapy is, so for example, if you have a tumor that moves, Okay, and you want to... What's a tumor that moves? Like a lung cancer? Lung, lung cancer. Okay, I'm just asking sure. because you, you, you a lot of the people cancer. out there won't know what a tumor Good cancer question. moves. Good right? question. You have, you have lung cancer and, and you have a tumor inside the lung and this... Normally the way we we'll treat this lung tumor is we'll radiate a lot of normal lung tissue using radiation and that's not good. Cause a lot of side effects, doesn't it? Cause a lot of side effects. You're giving a lot of toxins. Of side effects. Yeah, a lot of toxicity that comes from these. So the capability that this, the gated radiotherapy that I mentioned is that, you know, as this tumor moves, what you do, the radiation beam is normally shown this way, and when, if this is your radiation beam, like an ice cream cone comes in, and the radiation is coming down this way, and if the tumor is moving like that, so when the tumor comes under the radiation beam, then we turn the radiation beam on. And when the tumor moves out of the radiation beam, we turn the beam off. So all of this is done automatically. And by doing this, what you're really doing is treating just the tumor. And you are avoiding treating a lot of the normal mm -hmm. tissue. And you can really give a very high dose of radiation without giving any toxicity to it. And why is it important to give a high dose of radiation, say, in lung cancer? Because, you know, the from all our studies, different clinical trial studies that we have seen that you need to really to cure that. You need to give a certain, a certain dose. dose. Exactly. Dose and, and it's a balancing act because to get that right dose in, if you're not careful, you'll get a lot of side effects. And you probably have seen patients who've had radiation therapy with side effects. Well, this technology, this machine, and the staff that runs it in this uh, hospital actually are capable, they're trained, to deliver that state-of-the-art care uh, and while reducing the side effects. So with that, guys, I want to thank you very much. I for have a question for uh, you. Oh, okay, sure. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Like, as we discussed previously, in Romania, there are large waiting lists. Mm -hmm. They are patient.